Yes, welcome back to Entrepreneurship Tuesday on Why in the Morning. My name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moses on social media. Yes, it's time for our first interview of the day. So there are three things in life, the mind, body, and soul. And we need all these things to work in sync uh, in order to achieve everything that we put our minds to. And today, we're going to be focusing on one aspect and what other way to do it uh, than to have Isaac Mwiga in studio to dissect this. Thank you. Thank you, Barry. I appreciate it. Karibu sana. Asante. Uh, your camera is number four. Yes. Just introduce yourself in case I left anything out. Oh, all right. So mm -hmm. my name is Isaac Mwiga. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a CEO of Human Am Ratings. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's not majorly important. What mm -hmm. is important is, uh, is that I'm a youth advocate. I like talking uh, about the youth. I like addressing issues that uh, relate to the youth and uh, everything that uh, everything that relates to that. All right. Yes. The youth yes. is uh, the youth are uh, an endangered species. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <for laughs> sure. Everybody so? talks about the youth. I, I think uh, it's the, I think it's the human. I think it's uh, it's the human. whole human the, race. The whole human race. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. But most of the times we find uh, projects for the youth, projects about the youth, mm -hmm. projects seeking to solve problems for the youth. Why the youth for you? Uh, for, for me, I feel like uh, these are the people who are energetic. For mm -hmm. me, I see a, a youth. Uh, uh, we have very many definitions about a youth. Uh, like uh, one, uh, one of them is uh, a youth is a uh, person under the age of 35. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, a, another definition of a youth is that a youth is anybody who has energy. That's mm -hmm. uh, more of religious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but and inclusive, me, at uh, least. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But for me, yeah. a, a, youth, uh, a, a youth is anybody who has strength to work. Mm -hmm. you, you get the point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for me, I feel like uh, the youth are so important. Mm -hmm. the, the youth are so important at uh, the backbone of any economy, any mm -hmm. country. You, you, you really need the youth in mm -hmm. any kind of... They are the drivers. Yeah, they, are the, they, are the they are the engine of, the yeah, of sure. any economy. Yeah, exactly. That's why you chose to focus on the youth. Exactly. And you're so passionate about mental health. Mm -hmm. uh, but before we talk about mental health, there's right. something... Uh, this is not your first time on set. Right, yeah, yeah uh, there's something we talked about last time. Yeah. And this is about organizational... Health check. Health check. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just break this down for them. Uh, what you do at Humanum yeah. uh, before we can carry on uh, with the topic of the day. So uh, you, you mentioned about uh, mental health. Mm -hmm. This is just like an inverse of uh, of uh, of uh, mental health. Mm -hmm. Organizational health is we try to look within an mm -hmm. organization. The same same way that as a human you can look within yourself. Mm -hmm. So an organization, because it's a human enterprise, mm -hmm. you look within the mm -hmm. organization. Within the organization, so that you can go without. All right, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I like. Oh, makes sense. <laughs> you make a lot of sense, <laughs> and I like the poetry involved. Exactly. All right. So uh, organizational health. Right. When you talk about health, uh, I'm, I'm looking looking at a human body, a, a human body mm -hmm. as one. So do you consider an organization, uh, do you look at it as a living organism when you're looking at organizational health? Absolutely, it's a living right. organism because you have living beings. Living things. Living beings. As part of it. Yeah, because without the people within mm -hmm. the organization, do you have a company, really? All right. So, like, we have cells in uh, in our bodies. Exactly. Uh, the the human resource are mm -hmm. the cells to yeah. the organization. Yeah. All right. Uh, in this analogy, uh, what is the head? The head, the, the, the head are the leaders. The head are the leaders. The head are the leaders. All right. Yeah. Uh, the hands. <laughs> uh, the hands are maybe the supervisors. I don't uh, know. <laughs> all right. The legs. <laughs> Maybe the people who are working. All right. Yeah, but every part is important, really. Uh, the yeah. mouth. Yeah, because I think, uh, uh -huh. Barry, what you're trying to uh, uh -huh. what you're trying to ask in all uh, in all, in all this is uh -huh. uh, uh, who is who in an organization. Yes. We, we have roles. Mm -hmm. We have roles within an organization, but I don't mm -hmm. think the roles are important. Mm -hmm. The roles are not that important. Is that we need to realize that we're dealing with people within an organization mm -hmm. first. Yeah, you have before to their roles. Exactly, mm -hmm. because when you hire a hand, uh, mm -hmm. it comes when you hire a hand, it comes with the heart too. Uh -huh. You know, you, you, because we've uh, we've made this a little bit technical uh -huh. that these are just people to earn money, and mm -hmm. uh, we really hate our jobs nowadays. Uh -huh. You really want. If you pick a five and I'm out of I'm this place. Out. You don't even want Monday you to come back to be, again. You don't want to be in this place. Uh -huh. Yeah, and you take that stress at home because uh -huh. if you're not happy at work, uh -huh. trust me, the same same energy you project it uh -huh. at home at your right. place. And you know, Barry, uh, you spend a lot of time in work. Uh -huh. Should actually be paying actually, rent at even work. Even more than home. Yeah, we should uh, actually. How many, be how many years did you spend even with your mom? Maybe twenty <laughs> maybe years or twenty-five. A or very, a very 16. short time. Yeah. A very short time for exactly, sure. Exactly. But so you spend a lot of time away work, from home. Away from home. All right. So th the rest of your life you're at work. You're working. So this needs to be solved. Exactly. This part of our lives. We need to see it as a human enterprise. These are mm -hmm. people that you're dealing with. All right. And the best organization right now are are, are looking at a human 
a human being as a person, mm -hmm. you, 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 know, you do not care about the profits right mm -hmm. now. Because, uh, let me tell you, Barry, mm -hmm. you see, there are some of the things that you cannot uh, force out of people, mm -hmm. like trust. Mm -hmm. You cannot force people to be trustworthy. It's earned. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. You cannot force people to be creative. Uh -huh. You can't. You uh -huh. can't just tell people, hey, you, man, uh -huh. say, oh, I want you to be creative. I want you to come up with something <laughs> I want today. You to come up with something. Uh -huh. These are a result of people when they feel secure uh -huh. within an organization. And happy. You see, uh -huh. uh, there is a first rule of seller. Uh -huh. Just take Zaki us Tango. there. Take us there. Open the first rule. Uh -huh. The first rule. Uh, the first rule of sale in Akwanga, come to like your customer, mm -hmm. and then uh, when there is a rapport, he'll, uh -huh. he'll, he'll try to do business. Yes, with you. Open for me, sure. I think that's a little bit awkward. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, I think is that you should be able to like your customer. Mm -hmm. No, no. Mm -hmm. You should be able to like this person because the person that you like, mm -hmm. you'll be able to protect them. Uh -huh. You'll be able to do what is. Wise words from Isaac right there. If you like someone, you'll be able to protect them. You'll be able to, you'll protect, be able to protect their rights. Exactly. And you won't infringe on anything. You won't sell them something that is going to cause, cause danger to their Absolutely. lives. Absolutely. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. That is uh, something about organizational health. organizational health check. Health right. Health. The last time we talked, you were telling me it's, uh, it's growing in the country and people are getting to realize the importance of this. How is the state so far? Uh, the state so far, right now, um, it's... Uh, we, we are doing good, mm -hmm. but we are not that good. We need, mm -hmm. to, we need to do much better. Mm -hmm. we, we really need to. Our organizations have started, uh, have started considering this. Mm -hmm. We've seen some of the major organizations, some of them are listening to the voice of the people, and mm -hmm. they're making changes according to what people are saying, because now they're realizing it's not about the profits. Mm -hmm. It's not really about making money. Mm -hmm. It's about what these people are saying. Mm -hmm. no, no. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, about, it's about listening to them. Because millennials are hard people to deal with. Mm -hmm. For sure. Very hard people to mm -hmm. deal with. But again, it, it's, it, it, this is the generation that you can really enjoy mm -hmm. once you understand them, mm -hmm. once you understand what they need. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think uh, as a country, we are not doing that good, mm -hmm. but we are headed in the, We are lost in the right direction. We are lost in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's a lot of poetry going on. I wish this was Thursday. Remember, we have a question on Facebook. Uh, what is the easiest amount of, uh, the easiest cash you've earned in your life? And did it last? And how did you spend it? That is at Y254 on Facebook. And we have Isaac Puigai in the studio, the CEO of Humana. And these guys are focused on this. So let's talk about uh, uh, mental health. Mm -hmm. uh, what is... How would you define it? Because uh, it's very easy to, to misunderstand. Mm -hmm. Yes, some people might get offended if you tell them, uh, I don't think you're mentally stable. Mm -hmm. I, don't think, I don't think your mind is healthy. People, are easily, people tend to get offended when you tell them things like this. How would you define mental health? So mental health uh, mm -hmm. is, a, is, a, is, a, is a state of mind. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a state of mind. It's how, it's how you... You, how you perceive things around mm -hmm. you, how mm -hmm. you're able to perceive things around you. Mm -hmm. Like right now when I look into this room, what, mm -hmm. can, what can I see? To somebody else, you can, you can bring him to this room mm -hmm. and uh, the perception of them about this room mm -hmm. is something else different. Mm -hmm. So that's the state of mind, how that you is. see things around you. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think mental health is the stability of that, seeing things the way they are. Seeing things the way they are. Seeing things the way they are. All right. Say we have a class. Mm -hmm. It's uh, half full. Yeah. The, the cliche analogy. Yeah. Seeing things the way they are. All right. Uh, somebody will see a half full glass, somebody will see a half empty mm -hmm. glass. Mm -hmm. But that is the way things are. Mm -hmm. But to some person, another person will say, this person is more mentally, uh, I'm, I'm lost for words, but mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying. The mm -hmm. person who sees the glass uh, half full is more optimistic, the other one is pessimistic. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> Seeing things the way they are mm -hmm. is all about perspective. Yes. 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 Yeah. And some people will find uh, a problem with every solution. Some people will find mm -hmm. a solution for every problem. Yeah. So which side is it? So uh, I, I'll use an analogy, Barry. Allow uh -huh. me. I don't know if I have time for this, but uh -huh. uh, there was this friend of mine. Uh, not actually, it's not a friend. It's just uh -huh. like a story. <laughs> uh -huh. So. Uh, this guy went for an interview, mm -hmm. and this guy was in, went for an interview. And the question that he was asked is, mm -hmm. uh, tell me, tell us, because now the, this was the question that, that was being used mm -hmm. so that he could pass the interview. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kaulizua, so tell us, which is far, the moon or Narok? Mm -hmm. 
we are Narok is where I come from. Mm -hmm. So Narok, which mm -hmm. is far, he was the interviews in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And then this man uh, sat and uh, he thought and he said, the moon, no, no, the Narok is far. Mm -hmm. And he was just, the people were surprised. Mm -hmm. Why would Narok be far than the moon? Mm -hmm. Unona. And uh, so this person said, uh, I can see the moon, but I cannot see Narok. So you see, that, that itself, that itself is very important when you're mm -hmm. talking about mental health, about mm -hmm. perception. Mm -hmm. It's very important. You can perceive things wrongly. Mm -hmm. You'll be thinking that you're doing good things. And you'll be happy. You'll be doing the wrong things. Uh -huh. no, no. So it's not about looking up uh -huh. to anyone or uh -huh. looking down to anyone. Mm -hmm. It's the ability to just look. Mm -hmm. no, no. It's the ability to just look, mm -hmm. seeing the person as he is. Uh -huh. Why do you have to call somebody good or bad? Mm -hmm. Why do you have to see a situation either good or bad? Mm -hmm. no, no. It's, it's about being able to just see the person as they are. Mm -hmm. Seeing the at situation the the as uh -huh. it is. You, you don't have to label, label it as good uh -huh. or bad. Uh -huh. Just understand the situation. Just understand it. And the, move and the rest forward. Exactly. And move from it. Exactly. I get that. Sorry. How is it, how important is it for success, to achieve success? How, how, what are the links between uh, mental health and success? Uh, mental health, I, I, we, I do not want to emphasize mostly about the mind because mm -hmm. I, I, I feel like, uh, I feel like we, we, we really talk about the mind so much and mm -hmm. we make the head or uh, <laughs> this part of the brain so important. Uh -huh. And there's the liver too, and uh -huh. there's other parts of the body, the pancreas, and uh -huh. even the uh -huh. things are important. <laughs> so uh, I, I feel like, uh, you see like the famous philosophers who like to say mm -hmm. that, I think therefore I am. Mm -hmm. But really, Barry, uh -huh. you think about this. Huh? Yes. Do you exist so you think, or uh -huh. do you think so you exist? Can I tell the viewers to help me? <laughs> <laughs> the viewers can help us. Right. Do you exist to think or do you think so you can exist? Exactly. Uh -huh. Because you have to exist first. Yes. You so have you to can exist think. first so you can think. Mm -hmm. So we've put the mind like it's 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 a I feel that I it's, see, it's like I see a the god, point. Uh -huh. It's like a god, mm -hmm. Nona. And that's what is happening right now. We are having something I hope it's the right word to use. Mm -hmm. A mental diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a mental diarrhea. Mm -hmm. The thoughts are happening compulsively. We have mm -hmm. given the mind so much power mm -hmm. that it's just a part. It's just a in the in the vastness of the cosmos. Mm -hmm. It's just a speck. So whole health is it's, a wholesome. It needs a wholesome exactly, approach. Exactly. It's not. It's not. It's it's important for success. Really, mm -hmm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you have to think. Ultimately, mm -hmm. you have to think. Mm -hmm. No. No but you you need to know how to stop thinking mm -hmm. the problem is not thinking mm -hmm. you need to know when to stop to think uh -huh. because right now people even who are undergoing depression are the people who cannot stop thinking uh -huh. right? exactly and that is actually the definition exactly. of depression right there the layman's definition of exactly. depression so uh -huh. ultimate success is about a balance uh -huh. you've mentioned when you started the show the body mind and soul whatever mm -hmm. the soul is i don't mm -hmm. know if it's the left or the right <laughs> <All right. laughs> So it's a balance. It's a balance of. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a balance of everything. Mm -hmm. It's a balance of the body, mm -hmm. the body, this part, mm -hmm. and the mind, which is an accumulation of impressions. That you see, even body, whatever you call a body, is not mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. No, no, because you're talking about going within. Mm -hmm. We need to understand that. You, you see, when you're talking about organizational health, like we say about going within the organization. Mm -hmm. As a human being, we talk about going within. Mm -hmm. But where is, where is, where where is, is this within? Where is this inside? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Because li really, if you, if, you, if you try to look at your life right now, mm -hmm. you ate food, right? Yes, for you sure. You've eaten food. Uh -huh. And then the banana uh -huh. was... Uh, How oh, did you know it was a banana? The, okay, maybe say the, it's the, let's <laughs> say right, it's a banana. It was a banana. banana. It was a banana. <laughs> yes. This yeah. guy is reading minds. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can be a mystic. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. So uh, you ate a banana. And the banana, after some few hours, it becomes you. Mm -hmm. It becomes you. Mm -hmm. So literally, whatever you have there is an accumulation of food. Mm -hmm. Whatever I'm looking at. For food. sure. Uh -huh. So that's not you. Uh -huh. This is food that I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. And water. You, and water. Mm -hmm. Whatever you have in your mind is an accumulation of impression, depending on experiences that you went through since you were young. Mm -hmm. So whatever you have in your mind is just impressions. Mm -hmm. So really, who are you? Where is inside? Mm -hmm. So this is just a question to ask ourselves. Where mm -hmm. is inside? When you're talking about going within mm -hmm. myself, where is this inside? Mm -hmm. oh, no. So uh, inside, it's very simple. You can realize by realizing what is not you. Mm -hmm. 
so you know just you. Just a simple, just a simple exercise. Mm -hmm. In this room, like, okay, I'm, I'm not, I'm not. Obviously, I'm not this television. Mm -hmm. I'm not, You're this, not chair. this piece of. I'm not glass this here. Piece of glass here. Mm -hmm. no, no. I'm not my wife. <laughs> uh, for sure, for a fact. <laughs> I know that's uh, only bit of You <laughs> had to do <laughs> you to it, man. Your children, uh -huh. uh, your children, I'm not, uh, your children will tell you even by themselves mm -hmm. that you're not, uh, they're not uh, part of you. So mm -hmm. the moment you continue asking these questions and uh, maybe realizing what is not you mm -hmm. in life, what is you will come. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to think about these things. Mm -hmm. Just let life. Let life come yes exactly all right yeah it's that simple let life Very come simple. all right at the end of the day when for me to stay alive i need to eat that banana in the morning mm -hmm. i eat i need to i need to drink that water mm -hmm. i need to walk a bit i need to stretch mm -hmm. all right uh i'm guessing that is the same mm -hmm. for me. i'll take you back to the mind again right. so uh at least you know the basics it's uh it's a primal instinct mm -hmm. to survive physically mm -hmm. Yes, you, you know you have to stretch a bit, you know you have to eat, uh, but the mind, uh, not so many people know what to feed it. Mm -hmm. they, not so many people know how to take care of it. Mm -hmm. Not so many people know uh, the link between what's here and what you're going to give out. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the tips you'd give somebody who, who, <clears throat> who wants to, to be full? Mm -hmm. Mtu Shiba. Uh, I, I, I'm a fan of Bruce Lipton. Uh, mm -hmm. Bruce Lipton is a famous scientist and he mm -hmm. talks about uh, how when you're young and mm -hmm. uh, the neural pathways are formed. The neural pathways are, are, are some parts of the brain that mm -hmm. form when you're young. Mm -hmm. You see there's this uh, philosopher, uh, no, no philosopher, it's, the science, it's, a, it's, a, it's a research that says that mm -hmm. your personality forms at the age of six, mm -hmm. six years old. Your personality has already formed at that time. All right. Is it influenced by the surrounding? Yeah, it, uh, it was influenced by how you grew up, the experiences. Between, one, you between zero and six? Zero and six. Uh -huh. So whatever you were exposed to, the neural pathway is formed. So that's how your personality formed. I don't know. That's what the scientists say. Mm -hmm. uh, but Bruce Lipton uh, tends to say this, that uh, you see, it's so hard for you to change at this age, mm -hmm. at, uh, at your age right now, because they have already locked. Mm -hmm. The personalities have already locked. Mm -hmm. So whatever you're thinking that you're doing right now, mm -hmm you're thinking that it's conscious, but it's subconscious. Mm -hmm. So the subconscious mind, 95% affect your behavior right now. Mm -hmm. no, no. So you, you, you think that literally uh, that you're doing whatever, whatever you're doing is very conscious and uh, mm -hmm. you're doing it out of your mind. But literally it's something that happened Just way something back. that is, has been exactly data that has been fed to your brain over time exactly uh -huh. so about feeding the mind is about uh, realizing some of the subconscious part of you mm -hmm. and uh, the, the only way that, that leads us back to going within exactly mm -hmm. so uh, what happens is that uh, in psychology we mm -hmm. say metacognition mm -hmm. metacognition is thinking about your thoughts uh -huh. thinking about what you're thinking so why um, why, yes, why yes. in that situation Still. like you uh -huh. get out of yourself and then you look at yourself uh -huh. hey, Hey, so, Criticize yourself. Ah, so this person, uh, uh -huh. blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so uh, about feeding the mind, it's, uh, it's important to realize that uh, you interrogate how you're feeling. Mm -hmm. Listen to how you're feeling. Mm -hmm. And then after you've listened to how you're feeling, then the next step is uh, feed your mind with what you want. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you want. Pain or pleasure? Yeah. Uh, Pleasure. Pleasure, for sure. Exactly. All right. But a little bit of pain sometimes, uh -oh. it goes a long way. You, you do want some pain? <laughs> <laughs> no, pain is inevitable yeah. anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pain is inevitable. Suffering, right. is, a, uh, suffering is a choice. Yeah, they say uh, <laughs> you, 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 you hope for the best, exactly. uh, but you prepare for the worst. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, mm -hmm. whatever you want, pleasure, mm -hmm. you, you continue doing that repetitively. Mm -hmm. repetitively because your neural path is formed when you're young mm -hmm. so in order to change them in order to change them you'll need you need a lot of work mm -hmm. it's I, I won't tell you it's simple mm -hmm. i won't tell you it's simple if you need to go to a psychiatrist if you mm -hmm. need to read a book do it you need to change mm -hmm. you know that god when you when you're reading it to dogo mm -hmm. you know how that hard that was so easy but you can write that yes for no. sure mm -hmm. yeah so it's it's not that uh, easy, uh -huh. but, it's a again, process. but again, it's very simple. It's a process, it's a journey, it's not that exactly. easy, but it's very simple when you realize it. Absolutely. All right, so it's all about self-realization. Self -realization. Talk to yourselves, talk to your thoughts. To all right, your at thoughts. what point do you know that, all right, I need to stop thinking now. I've been thinking too much, mm. I need to stop thinking. How do you even know? 
Uh, that's, a, that's a funny question. <laughs> and yes, because we talked about it. And it's not easy to yeah. stop. Sometimes you just think and think and think and think. Mm -hmm. uh, some people go to the extent of hurting themselves physically. Exactly. So mm -hmm. uh, the only way that you can know that, you are, that, that uh, your thoughts are on overdrive, mm -hmm. or, uh, they're happening compulsively. <laughs> <laughs> overdrive, all right. Yeah, they're going to happen compulsively is when they start, they, they start acting against you. Mm -hmm. Because it can, it, your thoughts, it reaches a point when, you know, the mind was supposed to protect a human being, mm -hmm. literally. In, in, in our world today, the, the way the mind was created by the mm -hmm. creator, no, no, the creator, mm -hmm. uh, it was supposed to protect us from danger. Mm -hmm. no, no. But literally what is happening right now, the mind is acting against us. Mm -hmm. The mind is happening against us. Mm -hmm. You see, when it reaches that point, you'll know. You you have that intelligence. You'll know. Mm -hmm. You'll know, Barry. Everybody you'll, will you know. You will know. You will know. Everybody has that intelligence. Uh -huh. As when, they say, you can't lie to yourself. <laughs> you can't lie to yourself. If mm -hmm. you're honest with yourself, you'll mm -hmm. know that at this point, mm -hmm. you know, my mind in any, it's going against. All right. What do you do when you feel like your mind is going against you? I've heard that you can combine physical exercise, you can combine physical activities mm. to some brain, uh, mental exercises, uh, but w sometimes, sometimes it's easier said than done, you know? Yeah, so mm -hmm. you, see, you see, this question is like a person sitting under a tree, mm -hmm. and then he says uh, that, eh, hey, nina kachi ni empty, na, miti, na matunda zina niangukia, zina nigonga kwa kichwa, <laughs> So what should you do in that case? All right. <laughs> you just get up mm -hmm. and walk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get up and walk. walk. Simple. When matunda zinakongikia ama mvoe na kunyesha, you find shelter. Find shelter? It's that simple. Exactly. <laughs> Wonderful. Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on Instagram, and Y254 on Facebook is the way to interact with us. Remember, we have a question on Facebook. What is the easiest cash you've ever earned? And how long did it last? And what did you spend it on Y254 on Facebook? We have Isaac Mugai in studio uh, and is sharing some gems with us today yeah. for sure. All right. What is the power of talking, just mm -hmm. sharing mm -hmm. when it comes to creativity when it comes to uh, organizational setups just mm -hmm. that uh, chatting and talking to your peers and sharing ideas and yeah. bouncing ideas what mm -hmm. is the power of that because some people tend to keep to themselves because mm -hmm. they, they they think people are going to know so much about them they don't want to let people in mm -hmm. or people are going to steal their ideas what mm -hmm. is that power of just always sharing mm -hmm. or even finding someone you can always talk to it's co communication is very important mm -hmm. and uh, I, I, I want to mention one thing is that uh, People are not perfect. Mm. Yeah, if, if, if you really need perfect people, I think uh, the, the best people to deal with mm -hmm. and the people who are absolute mm -hmm. are uh, two people mm -hmm. only, the dead and God. Mm -hmm. The dead and God. The dead and God. Those mm -hmm. are the perfect people. Mm -hmm. So if you need perfect people, I think you need to go to heaven right now. Literally, you as you speak. Right now? Right now. Wherever oh. heaven is. Huh? <laughs> We go so, to the mortuary. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or go to the mortuary. Uh -huh. Those are perfect people. But you have to realize that when you're dealing with people, mm -hmm. these are variables. Mm -hmm. They change each and every day. Mm -hmm. Barry, if you have a girlfriend, I don't know, or if mm -hmm. you have a wife, mm -hmm. any miscommunication mm -hmm. can any miscommunication can lead the relation to a different relationship to a mm -hmm. different direction. Just one word. If you keep quiet right now, mm -hmm. maybe for your girlfriend for one week, mm -hmm. trust me. Those are, Things are, those are flags. Change. Those yeah. are red flags already. You know, na. But for, for God, uh -huh. you can keep quiet to God for one year and you come back. And that's why people like God. Uh -huh. Yeah, because you can keep quiet today and you come back next yes, year. When, when you're in trouble. When you're in trouble, when you've uh -huh. done all your things, so uh -huh. you, you've yoloed. You know, uh -huh. <laughs> but God is still going to listen. He's still going to be there. Mm -hmm. The dead are still going to be there. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not sure about the dead. Mm -hmm. Maybe they will change. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, the body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very important to realize that when you're dealing with people, these are variables. They mm -hmm. change each and every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, w w when you have that in mind, you're not going to be judging people. Mm -hmm. And that's why earlier on I said you don't need to look up to mm -hmm. anyone mm -hmm. or down on anyone. You should be able just to look at people. Mm -hmm. The way they are, just relate to people. Communication is very important. Speak your mind out. Mm -hmm. Speak your mind out. And... Uh, uh, I was reading a book, and mm -hmm. uh, this book is, uh, I don't know if you watched the movie of mm -hmm. Titans. Yeah. Titans, yes, yeah, I've 300. The movie. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I like the Spartans a lot. Mm -hmm. And you know, you know what happens to the Spartans is that uh, they, they are one of the revered armies, and mm -hmm. you know when they make those chants and, uh -huh. uh, and everything, it, it, it's, so, it's so interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing that you do not know about the Titans is that the most important thing is not the breastplate, is mm -hmm. not 
it's not uh it's not uh the Swords, spears the shield. This, it's the shield that is very important All right. you see if you lose the shield uh -huh. you are punished even you lose the citizenship you can be spared if you lose your spear uh -huh. Only one reason why you should why this why the shield is very important. You see, the the Spartans have the formations that they mm -hmm. do form, mm -hmm. and what they say is that if you lose the breastplate mm -hmm. or you, if you lose your helmet, is for your own protection. Mm -hmm. The helmet and the breastplate they are for your own protection, mm -hmm. but the shield protects the, the line. Yes. It protects yeah. the line uh -huh. when you're making that formation, uh -huh. and you've seen those formations that they. Yes, I've seen them. Uh -huh. Exactly. So we should be able to protect each other in an organization. Mm -hmm. And that does not come, I, I, I don't want to say understanding, because understanding mm -hmm. is overrated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, too much understanding is creepy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, too much <laughs> yep. understanding is creepy. I, yeah. I really don't want somebody to understand me. Uh -huh. <laughs> you, you, you you need, I have some shadows that <laughs> yes. might freak Everyone you out. Everyone has a dark side. <laughs> exactly. So uh -huh. understanding is overrated. Uh -huh. but what people mean when they say that I want to be understood is that uh -huh. they want inclusion. Mm -hmm. So in an organization, there should be inclusion. You should mm -hmm. be the bigger person. You should be able to include every person in your life. Mm -hmm. In your life, mm -hmm. that's what they just need. Mm -hmm. That's what everybody needs. Uh -huh. on so inclusion, communication, Inclu inclusion, strong communication. Uh -huh. Communication is just that inclusion uh -huh. because you just can't include. A, you, you you just. Uh, you, you just can't... Uh, you Include you, without communicating. Exactly. Mm -hmm. it, it happens. You, you, when there's inclusion, there's communication. Mm -hmm. no, no. Yeah. It's so wonderful. We, Thank you very much, Isaac, for the gems you've dropped today. Yeah. Uh, one thing I'd like you to share with the viewers before you leave. Mm -hmm. As somebody out there has a startup, mm -hmm. uh, is outsourcing some... Yeah some services I uh, employees wake kama we leave what wake wa ndudi wa deliver so is running some mm. form of organization from mm. home or whatever mm. what is that advice you'd give this person uh, profits aside mm -hmm. just growing uh, the the organization uh, healthily <laughs> Uh, so this is my camera, right? Yeah, that is your camera. So look them straight into the eyes. So uh, what I'd like to tell you is that yeah. very simple is that just know your why. Mm -hmm. Once you realize why you're doing, what you're doing, mm -hmm. the rest. Your W's. The, the, rest is, the rest is workable. All right. Just why? know your why. Simple. And what? No what. I didn't uh. say what. Why? I just say why. <laughs> why are you doing what you're doing? Is it why worthy? Why is the most important question? Why is the most important question uh -huh. of what you're doing? Because before you get into it, you already know what you're doing. Exactly. Uh -huh. so, so why? You need to know your why. You're mm -hmm. doing what you're doing. If you feel comfortable, if you if you feel like it's for the benefit for the benefit of the people, mm -hmm. go all out. Mm -hmm. I always say that uh, uh, if you love, love strong. Mm -hmm. If you hate, hate it's strong. strong. No, whatever you decide to do, mm -hmm. do it with all, all your the heart. <laughs> Give it all your guts. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Our question on Facebook has to be answered as well. What is the easiest uh, cash you've ever earned? Uh, the easiest cash that yes, I Yes, if I you can remember. I, I don't know what you mean by easy. What I mean, <laughs> uh, like th that one that impressed you, you didn't break a sweat as much and you were like, oh, I earned this. <gasps> I, I, I earn cash without breaking a sweat, <laughs> but every day of my life, I, I feel that because you do what you love. I love and that's all I do. Thank you very much Thank for coming, Isaac. I appreciate uh, We appreciate you so much. This all is right. your second time. I'm looking forward to a third one. Please, let's have that. All right. Yeah. Let's connect that body, mind, and soul, as, I, as Isaac said, and know your why. Why are you doing whatever you're doing? That is the most important question you should be asking yourself. And the most important question today is that one on Facebook. What is the easiest cash you've earned? And uh, how did you spend it and how long did it last? What if I phone Facebook, interact with us? We'll be sharing your opinions and your views uh, towards the end of the show. My name is Bai Moses or it's Bai Mo on social media. Alex is coming up next. Don't go nowhere.